<laughs> you just did Channel 11 here in New York City. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're big fans of Jill Nicolini. Ah. And for a while there, we're like, what's going on with Jill? But I think she got her ass back into the gym. Jesus, oh. And she she lost the little baby wow. fat that was starting to kind of, like, grow around her belly area. And she's looking really hot the last few looking days. Looking really hot. And I come with a message for Anthony. Oh, from Jill? From Jill. Jill wanted you to know two things about herself. Stop okay. harassing Her. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she said she is A, single, mm -hmm. and B, interested. What? Well, I'm, I'm newly single, by the As way. she told me. And, uh... I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. Um, but does she uh, don't. meet all your requirements? Did you say? Oh, what? The age uh, That's, requirement. That's fine. Well, she's no. How, how old is Jill admitting to? <laughs> admitting to. Look that up, E Rock, because this could be a problem for Anthony. Maybe not. Though. I don't see this as a problem. Dude, she, There's certain things that, uh, you know, offset. Yeah? Yeah. Was, Did she really say that? That's exactly this is going to make quote. the gossip columns. That's I mean, a quote. Well, Joe, you you heard this? Absolutely. Nick Foley hmm. not told a lie. Wow. Jill Nicolini just Thank turned thirty. Right. Yeah, that's that's fine. Can you shave fifteen years <laughs> off? <laughs> shave. 15. I got a bad reputation. Can Maybe. I say uh, when I met your? I don't even know if your last girlfriend. Was the yeah, it was the last one. She appeared to be. Youthful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Youthful. And now, yeah. <laughs> my, my wife hung up on her. Do you, do you remember when I was at the virus show? Yeah. And I called my wife, and, and, and you guys, I mean, that's a, that's a big achievement for you guys. There's like 10 on 12,000 people yep. on the show, and uh, I call home, and uh, your girlfriend, uh, oh, let me talk to your wife. That probably isn't what she sounds like, but uh, it was a little, yeah, little voice. And it was, um, it was I guess, uh, co you know, colored by alcohol. The conversation, <laughs> um, probably. And, uh, and then uh, the, colored by oh, alcohol. No. Your girlfriend turns to me, so I must have gotten disconnected. And I call back up, and my wife's like, "I just hung up on that girl." Why are you putting <laughs> girls on the phone? Yeah. Why are you that, putting drunk girls on the phone? I said, "That's Anthony's girlfriend." To which she said, "Who? Who was Anthony?" <laughs> And I said, it's their show. I said, there's 12,000 people here. Uh, you know, they're celebrating. You just hey. hung up on Oh, them. that's funny. E-Rock, you got connections over Channel 11. Let's get Jill Nicolini on before she does her next traffic. Oh, Jesus. She has nothing to do between traffic reports. Let's see if we can. I want to get to the bottom of this uh, this oh, crush that she might have on Anthony. <laughs> I want to watch Anthony fall apart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I got, I, you're going to have to use no game at this hour. You're going to have to use big words. You're not used to using big words. Jesus. With the opposite sex. What? Big words? She does the traffic. Relax. <laughs> she smells delicious, too. Yeah. She was here, and yes, she does. She smells very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Wow. So uh, well, we're both out on Long Island, yeah. right? True. You're She's both celebrities. Out, yeah. yeah. And you both like to drink. Apparently. I don't know. She, she uh, drinks. Actually, we do know, because she, she had to ask. Fun. What? What do you Yeah, uh, E Rock yeah. with talking into thin air again. Yeah, all right. Uh, so many times to say E Rock and thin at the same time. <laughs> oh come on! In front of in front of Mick. Mick Foley is uh, <laughs> like Jimmy said, promoting SmackDown Friday nights at eight p.m. Uh, eight p.m. on the CW. Oh boy! And Judgment Day pay per view this Sunday, right? Uh, yeah, when I'm not promoting uh, Anthony's love life, I'm promoting <laughs> oh. a s Smack. Yeah, SmackDown. Oh, no. just, uh, screw uh, you. Hold on, man. <laughs> uh, uh, Jill. Yes, hello. It's understandable. Hi, Jill. We got Mick Foley in studio, and you guys just I had him on know. TV. Jill, hello, I... Uh, hello, Mick. Hi, guys. It's Hi. okay that I quoted you directly, right? Yes. Do my you... quote directly to Mick was that I'm single these days. I heard Anthony's single. And, and single I'm... and? And is he available? Uh, yeah. Well, you see, there's a lot of girls here at the CW who want dibs on Anthony, and I said, well... Hey, I'm recently single. Why can't I get him? So I'm calling to um, ask if maybe Anthony wants to go out. And we're Ooh. we're both uh, you know, out on Long Island, right? Yeah, we're, we're close by, practically neighbors, and grew up, you know, similar areas, neighborhoods, same friends, same people. We have a lot in common, I think. And you enjoy maybe going out and having a drink or something? I would love to, but don't take me out like on Thirsty Thursday or anything. <laughs> no, 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 I wouldn't do that. Wouldn't Where do that. Would you take me? Where would you like to take me to dinner? Let's yeah. see. I I actually uh, know a very nice place, uh, kind of close to where uh, I am. Smart. 
Kind of close to uh, my house. <laughs> it's a, it's a lot easier. Right am I the only Shut up, Opie. State? Opie, am I the only guy in a state of arousal here? <laughs> no. Stop it. How cool is it? Uh, yeah, I know a great place for uh, dinner and then uh, a couple of drinks. You know, it, it's the it's the little get to know each other thing. Well, Anthony just uh, built a restaurant in his house. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm having a pool put in uh, too this whole week. So uh, really? Yeah, yeah, a nice pool, a whole backyard yeah. setup is going to be. Some like new bikini from Victoria's Secret, and I haven't worn them yet. So. Well, that would be very nice. You could come over and uh, we can hang out by the pool. You you like uh, you like like rum banana drinks and stuff. Ooh, I love that coconut, preferably. Yeah. Is this a bit, or would you okay. really go out on a date with Anthony? I really want to go out on a date with yeah. Anthony. Oh, you guys really go out. Yeah. Uh, what day? You want to go have a drink? What day are you going to do this? Let's do it. You tell me. I'll, next week I'm available. Uh, next week I'll call Jill. You available and, at noon uh, today? Well, <laughs> <laughs> he'll stop by on his way home and grab you. <laughs> I'll call Jill and we'll set something up. Give it a few days. Don't look desperate. That's yeah, true. I, well, they're desperate. Yeah, I have to wait till next week. Today's what? Loader Day at Shea with Linda Church, so I got to go out there and oh, we on the station. We've been watching her with Mr. Met. Yeah, she's Jesus. That Mr. Met. She should just clock him in the head. Hate Mr. Met. <laughs> <laughs> well, she might do that to Ryan Church when she throws out the first pitch later. We'll see. She's pretty. She's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Well, Jill, uh, we do have your number, so I could get that, and I'll I'll give you a call, and we'll set something up. Sounds good. And and thank you, Mick. Mick, and if it all works out. We'll invite, you, we'll invite you to the wedding. All right. Wedding. Oh, well. see, see what's going to happen? <laughs> Don't ruin it. <laughs> see what's going to happen? Don't ruin it. I just, I, all I want is a, a glass uh, against the wall, uh, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, uh, <laughs> a glass against the wall. <laughs> and that was my move back in 89. Uh, a glass against the wall. I used to listen to Sweet Stan Lane in the next room. Uh, he did, Sweet Stan. He did well for himself. I yeah. saw Sweet Stan coming in from the uh, the convenience store with six bottles of baby oil, and uh, <laughs> that was a good uh, <laughs> night to have the glass against the wall. So. <laughs> hey, Jill, do you enjoy going go back to work? Do you like shooting? Um, shooting what? Pool? Guns? Uh, no, actually, I shot a few at state. My uncle has some property, but I don't have a license, and I'm not that good at it. Yeah. Do you want to teach me? Yeah, we could go to the range. That'll be fun. Perfect. I can do paintball, though. I've done that a few times. Where Anthony oh. will shoot blanks, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Jesus. Everyone's trying to ruin it. Paintball. Anthony will shoot paintball. I accidentally, I, as you hug him, going to shut up. You're going to wreck everything. Yeah, this could be a, like a real day for Anthony. Just be careful. Don't be shooting any blanks. Ruin it. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Jill, you right, Jill. Jill. And tell right. Dee Snyder I said hello, okay? I will. Yeah, we're going to have so much fun. On All right, cool. All right. All right. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Uh, bye. Can I point out how great it is that this whole time Anthony was just trying to wrap it up before one of us wrecked it? Yeah. He was like, yeah, I'll, I'll call you. I'll give you a call. I got a number. I'll call you. I'll email you. I'll get in touch. Shut up. Before, before, before we ruined it for him. Do you shoot? Is Do it, you shoot? And is I, well, she's got to know. <laughs> is this 10,000 uh, guns? Is this something you would uh, be interested in or what? Um, Yeah, I think I might give her a call. I think it would be good for the show, tell you the truth. Oh. Why don't you just show some real emotion for once? This is a chance for my, you to in show. In front of you idiots? I'm a little emotion. You're, Lars, fix my computer. You're extremely flattered that Jill Nicolini wants to go on a date with you. She's a fellow uh, Italian. And what were we saying in the office just this morning? That she's looking really effing hot. I never said she uh, wasn't looking hot. You were the hot. one who brought up You were the, the one oh, that uh, oh, was bringing up things. <laughs> You awful man. I always thought she was a very, very sexy girl. Of course. She wears nice uh, shirts. Mm -hmm. Very free-flowing. Beautiful hair. Right? Nice. She oh, but she'd ruin delicious. you. She would ruin you. <laughs> oh, believe me. It's going to be 70-year-old Anthony again. Yeah. She, because it's gonna, all the big muscle hunks and idiots that know her. I mean, she knows probably like a lot of... And you'll be out with her, and she'll be hugging them. Hi! And you'll be like, <laughs> just laughing. <laughs> like, Jimmy instantly turns it into a cuckold situation. <laughs> I don't mean like that. That's so funny. I'm just sitting there going, yeah. No, I know the feeling. <laughs> I say within a month, she's living in Anthony's house, and, and he didn't even ask her. She's just, just going to completely <laughs> take house. over everything. You're going to be in a beat-up Honda as she's driving your sports cars around Long Island. There's bottles all, all right. over the place, guns. <laughs> That could be a great relationship, though. Oh, you guys are both yeah. Pretty, uh, I, think, I bet you guys would get along well. Oh, you think? I really do, yeah. And some 
alcohol induced stupor. <laughs> nah, but she's she, she, she's. When is this going uh, down? When is, enjoy your, When is this going down, Aunt? I don't know. I do. show that picture to Anthony. This Jill Nicolini picture you just found. What is this on her MySpace? All right, I, I was one of the uh, jackasses that bought the um, DVDs when they came out one episode per disc. No kidding. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, I'm glad I, we're, we're removed by telephone here. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say about Anthony when uh, getting a date with Jick, Jill Nicolini is the second best thing that happens to him on the show? Yeah. Hey, it's you nice. know, I, I have my priorities. <laughs> <laughs> I have to, I'll have to tune into Channel 11 and take a look at what, uh, your next date. Yes, certainly. Where are you going to go? Certainly will. I think there's a nice place uh, around. Uh, what do you think of this, Bill? I, I uh, suggested a nice restaurant that's kind of near my house because we both live on Long Island. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, but Long Island is long. Uh, it's an island that's long. Yeah, but but uh, it's close <laughs> enough. We're within proximity of each other there, so I really? suggest something near the house, that and then so good. they will go out, and then and then hey, how about you know I show you because uh, I'm having some work done on the house, having a pool put in the back, uh -huh. and you know, well, no, I, and here's the side benefit of all that. You can go on a date, and the weather will be nice. See? Yeah. When should we go? Well, let's see. The sun will be out uh, on Thursday, so let's go and sit outside and dine al fresco. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking uh, that that could work. That could very well work. And, and mm -hmm. here's another suggestion. Carry your cell phone with you and record everything so you can play it on the air the next day oh that'll go, i'm sure that's going to go great the, the ratings will go through the roof i won't get picked apart here by uh, everybody yeah but who cares we'll get the ratings as Bill, long as, Bill jill, understands as, long as jill picks you apart yeah yeah oh well um, you're saying you're going to be picked apart and should i be anthony from the radio or the regular anthony that i am don't, in regular don't, life don't i i can't really give you advice on that just don't be anthony the, the anthony on the radio no, don't be this one. No. <laughs> no, he just no. says, no, don't. Hey, we, we updated uh, Jill Nicolini's Wikipedia. It now says, on July 19th, 2007, Jill appeared live on the Opie and Anthony show. A little romance has sparked with Anthony as of May 15th, 2008. <laughs> Jesus. That's on the Wikipedia. Uh, you guys are brutal. Where do we start? First of all, Anthony is in love. Uh, we no, could, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no love thing. Between uh, Miss M Ms. Nicolini and I. You know, you're downplaying what happened this morning on the show, but... I don't think I'm downplaying You do realize, I, I could say this much, that the uh, the gossip uh, magazines, not the magazines, but some of these gossip people in New York... Yeah. ...are smelling story here, and uh, they uh, might even print something well. in tomorrow's papers. Well, <laughs> Jesus. If you're just tuning in, Jill Nicolini, who we've all had a, a crush on, let's be honest... Well, Jen, Jill uh, is a, she's a very attractive. Uh, she does the traffic for Channel lady. Eleven here in New York City. I remember from the days when she was like the announcer girl at the uh, Coliseum for the Islander games, and she mm -hmm. would piss off every single woman in the place. Yeah. Uh, when she would walk from section to section, you know, doing her thing, because she would lead with her huge boobies, and then the smell after she passed would linger for a long time because she had the best perfume ever. Yeah, and the women would all start just folding their hands as they're wearing what, their. What are you looking at? As they're wearing their oversized uh, Islander jerseys, they they would fold their arms in disgust because their <laughs> man was uh, taking a peek at Jill Nicolini. Well, now she's uh, she's a big star in her own right. She's on uh, on TV and she's been in Playboy and all sorts of stuff. Uh, we learned today that uh, Jill Nicolini is available and interested in Anthony Cumia. Well, I guess, uh, you know, word got out that... Uh, and Mick Foley set it up, because Mick Foley... Mick Foley, said, Mick Foley relayed a message. <laughs> right. Well, he was doing uh, Channel 11 here in New York with Jill. Jill goes, you know, oh, you're going over to Opie and Anthony. Well, tell Anthony, mm -hmm. I'm recently single, which is perfect, by the way. You know that, right? Yeah. The old rebound. <laughs> the old, I got to get back at somebody. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and... Uh, and she's what better way than a shock jock? <laughs> and she's interested, so I can't wait to see the gossip headlines. A uh, Channel Eleven uh, uh, traffic girl loses all self-esteem, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they'll show her walking, and then you just kind of carrying her bags, behind her. <laughs> like one of those suitcase pimps that hangs out with this chick with strippers. Of course. <laughs>
<laughs> this is this has got to be very very bad news for Keith. Keith the cop cannot be happy with what's going on today. Oh, why? What are you speculating here? I'm what are you speculating what are you thinking? that you're going to be kicking Keith out of that house immediately? Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Who the who? <laughs> right. <laughs> Keith, man, just in case, get your fucking stuff out of my get house. Out. <laughs> get out. Out, Keith. Because when I give the tour, I don't want her uh, seeing any other guy stuff in my house. <laughs> You're going to ruin it. It's so, a tour. And I, like, like it's already set in stone. Look, I know you play your cards very tight to the chest there, but uh, is it safe to say that you'll at least give her a phone call and see maybe if there's a potential there to go out for a drink? Why wouldn't I? All right. There you go. You heard it here on the Opie and Anthony Just show. Just like anybody else, I would uh, call and, and go out for a drink. Of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. Uh, Shoney Smith checking in, and I thought <laughs> I meant something to you. Fuck you, Ant. <laughs> Uh, poor Shawnee. Sorry. <laughs> Someone is saying that Jill was on Sex and, uh, by the way, it's End the City, not Sex and yeah. the City. Uh, don't forget, Jill was on Sex and the City. That was the, that probably true? the only good part uh, of the show ever. <laughs> I, I have you. no idea. Well, you know, they probably wanted to make it, uh, you know, New York. Yeah, She's a fixture here in New York, so. Uh, Anthony, Jersey, what's up? Hey, how's it going, guys? Good. Hey. hey, Anthony, I don't know about this girl, Jill Nicolini. What do you, I mean... She looks like a go-go dancer. I mean, yeah, that's terrible. A go-go dancer. Well, listen, where where are on, you from? Hold on. I know, I understand that. But hey, not to fall 1968 in love with just like called. It wants its vernacular you, you know? back. <laughs> <laughs> I love when someone calls, <laughs> yeah, like a year yeah, yeah. or something that couldn't possibly call, yeah. and it calls you and asks for something back. Always funny. It's possible. Hey, it it 1968. It's a year. It couldn't it's possibly. It's a year. It can't call you. Phone. They chill out, man. What? No, Getting I'm a, not a, a bit girl, defensive here. here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, sir. <laughs> to sir with love called. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Anthony. Just, yeah. just keep it in check, man. I don't think she's anything that that you should, uh, you know, bring home to mom or anything like that. You know what I mean? What you, what's wrong with you? She's smoking hot. She's Dude, large. She, yeah, but not for mommy. She's smoking hot. She looks like a freaking. For mommy. Like she, she My mother like was bringing home them. pictures from baseball teams. So, <laughs> so what the hell is it uh, for me? What's your point, well, dude? Like, I mean, why you wouldn't know, you want to bring a hot chick? Right, why wouldn't you want to bring a hot chick like that home for your mother? She's a really pretty girl. She's got a great career. Have you career. Ever dated a go-to go-go dancer? You ever dated like girls like this before? I mean, she's also all aggressive. She's calling you and asking you out a and shit. Go-go like, dance, dude. What kind of chick do you have, honestly? What kind of chick right now? I'm yes. single. Uh, all right, well, calling uh, boys, no exactly. going out with boys, yes, yes. sitting in parked cars with boys. Uh, be right, careful so off a rebound from a relationship good enough. to jump into someone like that. That girl can <laughs> that girl can chew you up and spit you right out. I'm telling you. <laughs> What's right. that for? <laughs> We're just making Back to the Future references. Yeah. <laughs> that they're obsessed fan, with Back to the Future. Travis and Danny can't get enough. Yeah. Uh, thank <laughs> you, Anthony. Let's go to Jimmy in East Meadow. Jimmy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I want to know if uh, Anthony's going to make her a big wooden J. Linger longer. Oh, are you going to make her a J in Woodshop? Ah, wait, did I? Wait, why, why is that a linger longer? Actually, I don't think old, I ever did that. You're an old tin knocker. Maybe you could, like, make some kind of J out of ah, right. out of tin. Or yeah, that, that'll happen. Uh, yeah, make her a flask. John, Long <laughs> Island. How's it going, guys? Hey, man. Hey. Uh, you know what, what the best thing about this uh, Jill Broad? I guarantee that if Anthony was still a tin knocker, she'd be going out with him. <laughs> <laughs> what an ass. Little, sure. little dose of reality, John. That Jesus. doesn't that doesn't mean that Anthony shouldn't go out with her. That just means that Anthony should be grateful he's in radio. You, the beauty when you bat out of your league, and no offense, Ann, but she's <laughs> way out of your league. <laughs> uh, but that's the reality. The beauty wait, 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 of that, Jimmy. Can I slow you down a little bit? What do you mean by way out of his league? Like, let's oh, say, I've got to hold on some. Uh, I, I, I'm trying to you know stick up for you. Like if Jill Nicolini's in the major leagues, where would Anthony be? Anthony right now will be coaching T-ball <laughs> and have questionable photographs on his computer. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be way out of your way. Yeah. Okay. He'd be walking around a bunch of little leaguers doing the cup check <laughs> using his chin. Um, <laughs> But that's the beauty of being a, 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 a brilliant radio guy. See, that's, that, that, that's not a knock. Uh, I, I've dated girls who were out of my league, and, and I never think, gee, she wouldn't like me if I was. And it's like, good. Thank God I'm here. I know what I look like physically. I'm average. Mm -hmm. I'm not bad looking. I'm average. Ant's an average guy, but he's brilliantly funny, and that makes him a nine and a half. Good for you. Jimmy, I got to tell you, it's really, really tough. <laughs> big cock of his deserves exposure. <laughs> I got to tell you, it's really tough to go through life being really good looking. So... <laughs> oh Christ! Let's get ready to chuck up. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. God damn, that's funny. Hey, can we get that drop? Oh, I'd love to hear that. Mick uh, saying it though. We should have had him do it in the production All the booze. room. Uh, well, let's go to Don in Nebraska. Don, 
We have breaking yeah. news we're going to get yeah, to in Anthony, a few seconds I here. Think but that, uh, yeah. burle- that uh, she's not a go-go dancer. I think it's more burlesque. Burlesque? <laughs> yeah. It hasn't been burlesque in years. No, Jill's like, she's, she looks like a hot chick from Long Island. And she talked about how she got new bikinis from Victoria's Secret. Well, because I, you know, I got the pool my, going in. My God, man! I mentioned the pool going in. Well, that was nice, right? I thought I, yeah, I yeah, slipped yeah. in the fact that I'm, you know, having the house all done and the pool's going in. What base do you think you could get to on the first base? Date? Yeah. What? What? I, I say you. Like, how? How I say old you, are we? I say you're base? between second and third base, first date. Jesus, you're out of your mind. Here's what he's gonna, he's going to get a, a, a foul bunt. <laughs> that means she high fives you at the end of the day. <laughs> a foul <laughs> bunt. <laughs> that means she gives you the A OK sign through the window. And she... <laughs> Let's go to Max in Dallas. Max. What's up, guys? Love is in the air. Oh, yes, yes Max. <laughs> We're all excited because hey, like this could be this this has potential. Hey, Anthony, why don't you take her out and shoot a rabbit for her? Linger, linger. What, like uh, Dreamweaver? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. You only told that story ten times. You would think I would know. I know, right? Uh, Riley, Utah, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, hey, uh, is Keith the Top going to drive you on your date, Anthony? Because you're probably going to lose your license. And will there be any hole in the back seat? Jeez, man. You know, why can't this just... <laughs> They're just asking questions. Yeah, but inappropriate questions uh, are being asked. Uh, this is Donna you know, wants to know adults. Yeah, uh, two adults that are just as far as it, it goes right now, uh, uh, probably go out for a drink. Two adults that need to fuck. And no, no, what? it's not cigars and nothing scotch. like that brought up. Cigars. The first Jill Nicolini Photoshop is already up. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what what, what it. is it? <laughs> I got to see. Check the bag. It. Uh, All right. Wax bag in the yeah. Photoshop yeah. section. All right, we'll check it out. Thanks, one in there too. Thanks for everything you do, my friend. No problem. A, a true uh, fan of the show, right there. Uh, well, let's go to Dan <laughs> in Philly. Dan. Hey, I was wondering if Anthony was going to wear his five eleven gear on his date with Jill. <laughs> I think I'll keep uh, any of the military attire uh, at uh, home. You should just tell her the five uh, eleven. Uh, what's the matter, Jimmy? Please show up in a tux with a top hat and a cane. <laughs> Please be. <laughs> Why would I do that? That's the beauty of yeah. it. What a douche you'd look like. <laughs> Please show up. And, and I... just be an embarrassment everywhere oh, we go. Tux, m'lady. Are you all overly polite? Hold the door for lay down your coat in a puddle. <laughs> m'lady. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end, in the limo ride home, just start jerking off in the car. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy. Yeah. Oh, you should God. tell her the 5'11 is, is the size of your cock. Five inches around, 11 inches up. Oh, I like oh, that. Oh, okay. Five <laughs> and 11? What do you think? I was going to say, wait, 5.11? Yes. Wait a minute. Were those the two last girls I fucked? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Eric from Colorado. He lingers longer. Eric, go ahead. Yeah, hey, uh, Anthony, I, I, I'm just wondering, you think this will uh, change your status or your reputation with the painters? They're going to think you're bisexual now. Yeah, they think you're gay already, so this is going to change mm. things. Oh, oh, yeah, one of the painters thinks so. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Are you gay? Yeah, because oh, Keith is in there. They Keith to is in there all the time, same time. No, and, and I said, oh, you know, yes, I'm going here. to take a nap, and uh, Keith goes, yeah, I got a nap, too. So he came walking up the stairs behind me, but he was going into the uh, east wing of the house, and I was going into the west wing of the house, mm-hmm. you know, opposite ends of the, the They didn't house. see that, though, because, you know. No, they were downstairs, yeah. and the one guy goes, uh, Maricon? Maricon? <laughs> no. Mike, New York, what's up? Yo, Ed. Big date, you think in Mustang, Escalade, or we, do we rent the Ferrari? Got Impressor. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think uh, the 430 might have to come out. Yeah? The Ferrari. Yeah. Get them wet. She looks like a fer- <laughs> When is this date going she down? She looks like a Ferrari girl. When is this date going down? Um, I don't know. Sooner than later? Uh, I don't know. All right, rent, all right. a, rent a sensible car. Rent a Taurus <laughs> or the type I used to have, which was the Topaz. Rent a Topaz. <laughs> rent a Topaz. <laughs> and pick her up. Me, me, me. <laughs> uh, Tom the trucker. Tom. <laughs> go go Dutch Boy. with her. Make her pay for half. <laughs> yeah. Be like a real screwball <laughs> with a fucking tuxedo on. A screwball. <laughs> yeah. Just be a real jizz bag. <laughs> Wear like a white tuxedo and take a fucking Cialis. <laughs> So you're just <laughs> tensing in your pants, no matter what you're doing. Uh, uh, hey, yeah, Anthony, yes, this is Jill from Jill TV. A, a bunch of people are going, yes. which Jill is this? Because they're just tuning in. Go ahead, Tom. 
Hey, Anthony, could you practice two tickets for Sex in the City, please? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Let's go to no. Dustin. Uh, Carolina. Dustin. Yeah. Hi. Yo, yeah. Hey. yeah. Listen, don't take her out on a Thursday, because I think a pink sock will definitely hinder the dance party Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to make sure you don't ruin her when she's doing dance. Uh... Stop! You all this is amounting to is what is known as cock blocking. No, no because no, you're no. making so many jokes that it's getting uh, uh, uncomfortable. Well, we're just answering phones. Bentley, Florida, can't get to him fast uh, enough. Yeah, I was just wondering if uh, Ant's going to ask her to give him a give her a signal next time she's on TV, like a little hello signal. Oh yeah, I like that. Maybe a little wink you, Jimmy. Come back to Fort Lauderdale. Oh, sir, when the time is right. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your hat on. Let's go to John in uh, North Carolina. John. Hey, now John. we have two creepy uncles on the show. Uncle Paul and Uncle Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if I'm a creepy uncle yet. Oh, we do. We know <laughs> we you do. <laughs> we do. We do. We <laughs> do. I know before before you guys, before he's hitting on her friends. Yeah. They know. Wow. They know <laughs> all. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> Uh, that's good. <laughs> Damio looks like Damio. Yeah, it's Damo, boys. How you doing? Hey, hey. Damo. That's a hell of a hey, way to listen, spell uh, it, whoever's hey, spelling today. Hey, Ann. Ann, I'm just wondering if you've already scheduled your appointment at uh, John's uh, Hog for your uh, date with Jill. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Carl Jersey, Carl. Hey, are you going to do the little hand signal love bug with uh, Jill? You're going to come up with a new one. Oh, wow. What's, what's, linger longer. Linger longer. I don't remember that one. You used to do the love bug. It's uh, like the Hawaiian hand signal for uh, love. Oh, right, right, right. And you right. just do that when you go, you know, take oh. it easy. Kevin Chicago. I'll show you one with rabbit ears you can do. <laughs> <laughs> the bunny it's between called the, the ears. elephant trunk. Yeah, exactly. well, not in my case, it's not. Oh. <laughs> it's called the Aardvark who had a lawnmower accident. <laughs> <laughs> And we got the guys just playing Jill Nicolini videos for you today. I mean, we got all these screens. Oh, that, that's we might going as well do now. something with this. So. Jeez, great. Look at that. Thanks. Look what you, oh, look, Dance look, Friday. Look what you're going to be doing. <laughs> Would you stop it? <laughs> look uh -oh. at this. Look out. Oh, boy. You might oh, wanna, no. You might get in there. Oh, no. You might want to get in there before he does. Uh, <laughs> She's not a good dancer. Stop. That's one wanna, good thing. You're going to want to feel something. Maybe you should go uh, her. get to the front of the Jill's line. Jill's not a good dancer. That's Look beautiful. at her she go. Dancing. Just imagine that naked now, Ann. Look. See? Naked, right? She's going to practice some naked moves for you. Wow, Anthony's speechless. <laughs> Would you stop? Well, we, can't, we can't see block him now. We got to... <laughs> Anthony's no. happy. Uh, uh, there's a little sunshine in his eyes today. You guys are hysterical. Usually there's just storm clouds, but today You're there's some really sunshine in there. really hysterical. I think Anthony will be a fine date. I think they'll go out, they'll have a nice dinner, they'll take her to the range. You know, she'd probably like that. It's a different date. Yeah. <laughs> it's a different Honestly, date. Honestly, she's never had a guy with Nazi paraphernalia take her to a shooting range before. <laughs> 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 Who just walk, opens his own door with a gun attached to him. But I bet you, I bet you that they have... <laughs> I think I'll leave the gun in the drawer. I bet you they have a good first Tape. Yeah, can you at least uh, take her to F. H. Riley's? Because when the paparazzi follows you, you know. Oh, you want a little uh, yeah, mention that? Sure. <laughs> yeah. It'll help the restaurant. Oh, oh wow, wait. <laughs> Let's say hi to Skunk Butt. <laughs> skunk Butt. Uh, skunk, where have you been? Hey guys, how you doing? Good. Hey, hey Anthony, I just gonna say, if you could find a way to break your own arm, you might get some sympathy sucks from her. Wow. That guy's lingering longer, too, huh? Uh, well, we got uh, Tim H. from Columbus. He writes, Brad and Angelina equals Brangelina. Tom and Katie, Tom Cat. Aunt and Jill. Eh, we got to work on this, but Antholini. <laughs> <laughs> Antholini. Oh, that's I ordered some Antholini last night. Maybe actually night. it works. I'm sorry, Tim. I, I was. Ant Hill? <laughs> Ant Hill. Antholini. Uh. All right, we'll, we'll we'll work on the your love name for you. Love name. Uh, -huh. uh Adam in Indiana. Adam. Hey boys, love you. Love the show. Yep. One that little Jimmy, if uh, Anthony likes Jill Nicolini. That's a very interesting question. We're trying to figure that out today. <laughs> I don't know if Anthony likes Jill Nicolini, <laughs> but that remains to be seen. <laughs> oh, why can't you, Jimmy? Just play along? Because he's trying to lead me 
into a bit that would cause me to say, You lost her! <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that. Well, let's... <laughs> Well, we're going to go with some uh, traffic puns now for you and um, oh, Jill. Uh, Carl in Jersey, what's up? Hey, Ed, the first pun for you guys. Will there be any rubbernecking on your first date? Uh, <laughs> well, well there you go, uh, uh, I bet traffic's going to be backed up because there's going to be a toxic spill in Anthony's pants. Yeah, you guys there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's up, Carl? Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Hey, I tell Anthony that if the tunnel is closed, you got to go around the other way, but don't get rear-ended. <laughs> What? Well, it doesn't even make sense. Well, he had well, a nice tunnel is closed bit. He just didn't have it worked out. Somebody will work it out for you. <laughs> Let's go to Joe in Wisconsin. Joe. Joe. It's actually Jeff, I think. Uh, All right, Jeff, right. What's up? Happy birthday, Jimmy. Thank you. Hey, Ant, I just wanted to know, do you think Jill Nicolini's a size queen? Linger longer. Maybe she what? heard about uh, your uh, legendary conk. Oh, now stop. I'm going to talk like Bob Kelly now. Your legendary conk. Clock, as, as you know, Bob said. Your clock. <laughs> <sighs> what a crazy day, man. There's a little love in the air. Don't fuck it. It's, 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 You've become an uncle. There's just... We got Bob Stokes. He's an animal. What this guy is? is an animal. I love him. That's great. Hey, uh, remember yesterday we jack off on someone's desk. <laughs> it's just a violent fucking. Oh, it's wonderful. our phone system can't keep up with the phones. By the way, really? Yeah. There's no. How about this? Yes. How about we just let Anthony go on his date? We don't. We don't throw any blocks up. And then when he comes back, we discuss it like barbarians. <laughs> <sighs> what an interesting day. Love is in the air. Jesus. Everybody's being affected by this blossoming romance. Blossoming romance? Blossoming romance, my hasn't friend. Even to, uh, hasn't even been a, a phone call or anything yet. Now it's affecting our show prep, and it's affecting the traffic reporting for the entire tri-state uh, tri area. That hasn't even been a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Obviously. But there's secret messages going back and forth, aren't there? <laughs> secret messages. We're going to get into that in a second. Uh, we have to go back to yesterday's show because we got all sorts of updates. We got uh, we got newspapers interested in this story. Really? The fans are very interested in this story. Are they, though? I think your mommy's very interested in this uh, possibility. I haven't spoken to my mommy. I know your sister... Roach and said, don't blow this one, Anthony. What? What? Are you, what are you... A lot of pressure on you. I, I understand there... that. Yes, there is. <laughs> is there really? Uh, the message board's going nuts with the news that there there might be some uh, some love in the air. I was steering clear of any message boards. Oh, you don't want to go there. <laughs> I don't want right? to no, look. No, it's a little <laughs> ugly right now. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, um, how do we begin this? I guess uh, we had Mick Foley on the show yesterday. Yeah, one of our good friends, and uh, he just did an interview with uh, Channel 11 here in New York. It's always fun. They usually do that before they come over here. So we were watching uh, the news yesterday, the WB11, right here in New York, and uh, Mick Foley was on. I was commenting how he looked like a caveman. Yeah, yeah, certainly. <laughs> and then uh, you know, a few minutes later, they wound up coming in here, and it's like, hey, I just saw that guy on TV. And then he had uh, a message from Jill Nicolini, which was odd. I thought it was going to just be, you know, hey. Tell the guys I said hi. Right. It was a bombshell. A bomb? Are you dubbing this a bombshell? Oh, hell yeah. It oh, came yeah. out of nowhere. Well, yeah. Out of nowhere? A bombshell? A bombshell. Wow. Okay. So what we did, because uh, it was going on all morning yesterday, we kind of condensed it down to a quick like minute and a half here. You, uh, you got the Mick Foley mm -hmm. telling, uh, telling us what Jill Nicolini said, and then I think we got a phone call from Jill Nicolini. And then I think we finish it up with uh, with uh, dating advice from Bill Shatner. Is that what we're about to hear? That's not in there yet. Oh, that's not no. in there yet. Okay, because then it, then it took on a life of its own. Uh, Bill Shatner, who was scheduled to do an interview, now yeah. is giving you dating advice. Yeah. So this is how it went oh. down yesterday. It's the condensed version. Swimmies. <laughs> she said she is a single. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bill. <laughs> well, I don't know if he would give that version or uh, or, or a pair of uh, a bikini uh, made out of lead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no one knows what really happened. Oh, God. 
So oh, no, the news is doing another grape stomping event. Uh oh. <laughs> no, how the last one turned out. Oh, 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 oh. So uh, this starts <laughs> with Mick Foley with the message from uh, Jill Nicolini. She said she is A, single, mm -hmm. and B, interested. What? Well, what? I'm, I'm newly single, by As the way. As she told me. And uh, I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go. Let's get Jill Nicolini on before she does her next traffic. Oh, Jesus. She has nothing to do between traffic reports. Let's see if we did. I want to get to the bottom of this uh, this oh, crush that she might have on Anthony. <laughs> I, I want to watch Anthony fall apart. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Jill. Yes, hello. It's understandable. Hi, Jill. We got Mick Foley in studio, and you guys just I had him on know. TV. Jill, hello, I... Uh, hello, Mick. Hi, guys. It's Hi. okay that I quoted you directly, right? Yes. You... My quote directly to Mick was that I'm single these days. I heard Anthony's single. And, and single I'm... and? And is he available? Uh, Yeah. <laughs> well, you see, there's a lot of girls here at the CW who want dibs on Anthony, and I said, well, hey, I'm recently single. Why can't I get him? So I, I'm calling to um, ask if maybe Anthony wants to go out. And we're, oh. we're both uh, you know, out on Long Island, right? Yeah, we're, we're close by, practically neighbors, and grew up, you know, similar areas, neighborhoods, same friends, same people. We have a lot in common, I think. And you enjoy maybe going out and having a drink or something? I would love to, but don't take me out like on Thirsty Thursday or anything. No, 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 I wouldn't do that. Is this a bit, or would you okay. really go out on a date with Anthony? I really would go out on a date with yeah. Anthony. Oh, you guys really go should. Out. Yeah. Uh, what day? You want to have a drink? What day are you going to do this? Let's do it. You tell me. I'll, next week I'm available. Uh, next week I'll call Jill. You available and, at noon uh, today? Well, <laughs> <laughs> he'll stop by on the way home and grab you. <laughs> I'll call Jill and we'll set something up. Give it a few days. We'll look desperate. And uh, that was what went on yesterday. <laughs> Just watching dumb Anthony try to end that before it got something bad happened. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, Is that you. what I was doing? Oh, I'll email you. I'll call I'll, you. I'll, I'll call you. you. Hang up now immediately. Yeah. There's too many tools on the phone. <laughs> uh, we're going to read it. I'm we're gonna fast forward a year into this relationship. Anthony will just come in like staring straight ahead. What happened? She didn't come home again last night. <laughs> <laughs> She'll ruin him. She's going to ruin Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> like Fredo. <laughs> oh, always, no. Yeah, I'll be, you should take care of this. It always starts well, but uh, yeah. So I haven't even had our first phone call. We've been killing. Would you just stop with the predictions of the future? We've been killing Anthony ever since that went down yesterday. And then uh, after the show yesterday, we had to go into Tim's studio, and we kind of like just, uh, you know, we kind of riff into the microphones and try to come up with a promo that they can run here in New York City. Mm-hmm. And here's uh, just some of the audio. This was supposed to be just a quick, like, five seconds. Opie here. Um, my pal Anthony is deeply in love with Jill Nicolini. <laughs> Wait a minute. That doesn't mean... What? That, you, look, could you be a little more subtle? <laughs> Why? Because uh, it's not a love or anything. It's you know, We're going to just go out for a couple of drinks. Like I said, Anthony is deeply Get in to love know each other. with Jill Nicolini. Why does this have to turn into... Like fifth grade. There's a love thing happening yeah, between yeah. you and Jill Nicolini, the oh. traffic girl from Channel. Are we are we sitting in a tree? K I S S I N G. I don't know. Can we... Are you? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why can't two adults uh, just go out and and have a drink or something and talk without uh, you guys just being total jackasses about it? Are you going to stupor? <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. There's not one moment that I could just have on the show without it having to turn into some goddamn fifth grade uh, event with you juveniles. What base are you hoping to get to? <laughs> See? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm thinking third base. I'm what do you think? Shut up. <laughs> so that was uh, right after the show yesterday. And as we do this, I see Anthony staring at the TV. <laughs> I'm all at distracted his, now. At, at his future wife. <laughs> future wife. Look at all those green cars. Yeah. The traffic looks good today. Yeah, does it? Doesn't it? Look at, uh, oh, there's an accident in Jersey. Point it out, Jill. Oh. That's it. Oh, that's see? roadways. I thought that was. Uh, and all, oh, well, uh, there was the hair flip. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <All right. laughs> there's a little ear scratch. Is that for Anthony? Yeah, hold on, hold on. What? <laughs> there may have actually been a coded message in that one. I had the guys watching in the office. Did she? No, she didn't say it in that. 
Uh, wait. All right. Well, now we got to give you the update. Um, that was a message, by the way. We're yeah, yeah, yeah of course, course it was. No, I don't know. We got it. We got so around five o'clock, five thirty. We're all in the office, <laughs> and Steve pops his head out, and he goes, uh, uh, "Watch Jill's traffic. She's going to have a secret message for Anthony." I swear to God, <laughs> is, is true? that true? Very true. Yeah. Thank you. And what was the secret message? The first secret message she did today on TV for it. When you see that, yeah, she uh, said something like, it's a secret message that means call me. <laughs> uh, it was a hair flip and a nose scratch, I believe. Yeah. Right. The secret message. Wow. So Steve runs out and goes, Jill's going to give Anthony a secret message. It's going to be a hair flip and, and an itch of the nose. And we're like, shut up. So then she she pops on and we're watching her traffic and she flips her hair <laughs> and then at the end she like just you know scratches her nose real fast yeah, yep. yeah. I'm like, she's giving secret messages to, to Anthony instead of doing the traffic <laughs> well she what, does the traffic what's the signal she's going to wiggle her bosoms after announcing a truck fire. <laughs> <laughs> And then there was um, then there was a wink. Well, then we're like, all right, that was funny, but she's not gonna like continue this. She's got a job to do. Uh oh. So, so then there was another text that yes. said, oh, wait "Sorry, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry for interrupting." There was a coded message in that last one. Yes, as there was, well. Yes, Jimmy yeah. caught it. It was yes. the ear touch. The one. ear. Yeah, yeah. It's like Cal Burnett at the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> she's been writing Steve in between traffic reports, going, "This is what I'm going to do next for Anthony. I, this is the real deal." What was the second secret message? Because that one was really funny. It was uh, at the very end of her report. She uh, winked at the camera. Yeah, she yeah. goes, "I'm going to wink at the camera." That's a that's a message for Anthony. What was the message? She said, "Make sure he calls me." That was a call me, Anthony. Yeah, she has got a pretty good wink. She's like pretty. Yeah, it, it didn't look like you know some people can't wink. It looks like they're right, right. Got a bug in their eye or something. Yeah, she gets a real quick wink there. Right at the end of the traffic, she gave probably the most seductive wink I've ever seen. Yeah, a nice in my wink life. with her big eyes. She just gave a big. Blink. Oh, they're oh. big, aren't they? Anthony? Of course. Watch Starting to notice be, everything. Huh? Watch her become obsessed, and then like Anthony's like, it's not going to work out, and then she gives little signals like she hangs an Anthony doll by the way. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing the traffic, and I hope an Escalade is on fire on the expressway. <laughs> So if you're stuck in traffic, we apologize, <laughs> but, uh, you know, the traffic girl's too busy giving secret <laughs> messages to Anthony today. <laughs> she, she's doing the traffic. What the hell's going on? She, she's doing her job uh, very uh, fine. Now, a girl like Jill Nicolini, right? Yeah. It's Friday. You got to call like right now. She's she's booked by noon for the weekend. I can't call right now. We're both working. It's she, very unprofessional. She obviously isn't. Yeah. <laughs> she's she's <laughs> delivering the traffic. Do you have a Lincoln. secret message for her, Anthony? Uh, yeah. Come over my house. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> right. All right. How long is this going to go? Yes, love is in the air. Right. I'm sure. trying to find some sound effects. Chill. I haven't had one phone call yet. Huh? There hasn't been a phone call yet. Well, she's waiting. You guys are every douche friend <laughs> at the bar. When one guy tries to, like, maybe strike up a conversation with uh, a girl. Because all the guys went out, and they're looking to, like, score with a chick. And one guy happens to get a conversation going with a girl. And every other guy that's there with him has to be douche. Now, this is one guy who just got, like, kind of thrown out of, uh... At a baseball, all of a sudden got called up by the Yankees. <laughs> uh, someone from their cell phone writes, Ant's just sitting there all smiley with butterflies in his tummy. <laughs> this is like high school, man. Yeah. We're too old. The for humor, this high everything. Crap. He ran in this morning making little, like, the little gun fingers, and he was going, yeah. TGIF. <laughs> <laughs> wow. After that joke, thank God it's finished. <laughs> 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 oh, wow. <laughs> Any more secret messages? Can we get her on the phone? Sure. sure. <laughs> Jesus, why? Yeah, no, why? It's not TV. You guys are going to just ruin, she you guys will ruin everything. She's I know not it. doing her job. Mike, New York City, what's up? She's not doing her job. She's giving you secret messages. Uh, yeah, we have to She's talk got about a very it. important job, you know. She gave, she gave, a, she gave the message to a, a, a man with no ear or teeth to give you. <laughs> We're trying to get the secret message two in a row. Yeah. <laughs> that was factual, though. Yeah. <laughs> Teasing, Jimmy. We're trying to get the secret message uh, videos up on onaradio.com so you can see it for yourself. The hair flip and the scratch and the and the uh, the the uh, 
The wink, excuse me. Uh, Mike, what's up? Hey, she's doing the messages like Chevy Chase and spies like us when they're taking a the test in the classroom. Wow, you pick a Dan nice laughed. movie to reference. I don't, I don't remember that one. I'm... You never saw Spies Like Us? I, yeah, a long yeah. time ago. I don't remember. A million years ago. That's all. Once. It might, it might be a great reference. I just don't remember don't the, the, the uh, movie. Thank you, Mikey. Uh, let's go to Dale in New York. Dale, what's up? Hey, gentlemen. Good morning. Hey. What's up? I called in to, uh, at first to uh, comment on the lightweight you got working for you now. Who, E Rock? Yeah. Or Anthony. Another spaz in training. <laughs> Another Light what? Weight. Another spaz in training. Uh, Why is, is he going to leave the show and try to sue us? <laughs> yeah, maybe. No kidding. Another <laughs> another disgruntled employee. I forgot. Oh, all disgruntled. Every single person that leaves the show has to be disgruntled. And we have uh, somebody leaving the show at the end of the month. I wonder if they're going to be disgruntled. A future disgruntled employee. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Well, anyway, I wanted to say keep up the good work. You guys always have me cracking up. Thank you, Dale. We appreciate it. And have uh, a good day, gentlemen. All right, let's go to Keith and Lindenhurst. Keith. How you doing? Good. Hey, Anthony, yeah. this girl's going to break you. There will be no more stay in the motels when you go to family reunions. That thing you said yesterday about having kids. <laughs> oh, watch. I can see him now. Oh, Anthony, you're done. Oh, Look, you. Next thing you know, Anthony. Anthony's laughing at me. <laughs> next thing you know, Anthony's going to be like the new Brad Pitt. He's, he's going to be like, what the hell did I get myself into? We're, we're having our eighth kid. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't think Brad Pitt was like the fatherly type. No. And all of a sudden, he, the, the lure of the hoo-ha. Got him. How about how about we just wait for a phone call, huh? I'm telling you. How about we all slow down, calm down, and wait for a phone call? You talk a good game, but Brad Pitt certainly talked a good game in his day. And then look what's going on with him. Not only is Angelina, Angelina Jolie uh, pregnant with twins, she's saying in the paper today that she's not done after the twins. Wow. Have a water yeah. slide. You think Brad Pitt wanted to wake up one day with like eight kids? No. Of course not. You're 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 he's finished. you're in over your head, bro. You have me, I'm not even a phone call yet, and you already have me wrapped up in a, a relationship with kids and everything. You got a bail. What? You got a bail now. There's man. no. I didn't. There's nothing has happened. <laughs> you got a what? Bail. I, there's nothing to bail from. <laughs> you got a bail. The show's gonna change. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't like that thing you guys were doing. Right. All right. Well, no more. All right, Wednesday, guys. No more. <laughs> <laughs> This love thing, you know, has, love thing. This love thing has a way of catching up with you. You're a pisser, all he is. I pretty much gave up on relationships, and oh my god, I'm in deep now. I'm telling you, man, you're done. You're gonna be a father and everything. Oh, here's your future wife. Ah, uh, <laughs> you... Jill, Stop. Jill Comia, Jill Nicolini, everyone from Hi, Jill. here in New York City. Hi, Anthony. I'll let Hi. you guys uh, talk, Anthony. I've, oh, well, thank you, Opie. Jimmy and I will be over here. Uh, yeah, well, I've been watching your traffic, uh, Jill, and uh, your secret messages are very uh, cute. Well, thank you. They're just signals because I want you to know I'm thinking about you and I'm waiting for you to call. Hey, Jill. Um, sorry, oh, yeah, sweet. Sorry to jump in. Oh, yeah, of course, she jumps in. <laughs> Why wouldn't he? No, because a lot of listeners, I know how they are. Mm -hmm. They're not going to believe us until they hear it from Jill herself. Jill, is it true you've been uh, sending secret messages to Anthony all morning long during your traffic? Yes, that is 100 percent true. I think I started with a little hair flip, a little yep. nose scratch, a little winky wink. <laughs> <laughs> Winky wink. And, and wait, I made a reference about calling our traffic tip line, and I really meant for Anthony to call me. That was the. It was a call. Well, Jill, you will absolutely get a call. I think. As long as you don't call me restricted, I don't pick up restricted calls, so. Ooh. You got Call you restricted. Oh. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, Please. a restraining order. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No. He'll fax his bank account numbers if you want. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 Anthony, mm -hmm. I, I heard uh, some of the show yesterday, and I heard that I'm, I'm moving in, and you're going to be driving a Honda. <laughs> yeah, apparently uh, people That's think right. um, things are going to change. Now, I'll think... ask you this. You don't like kids. I've been hearing that you're having a hard time with children these days. Are you are you looking uh, for a relationship maybe that uh, ends with uh, marriage and, and children at some point? I want a lot of kids, like five. <laughs> five kids? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I really do. It's a matter of finding the right person, though, and then 
Yes. Well, yeah, see, it's a matter of finding the right person, and that's, I think, you know, something uh, that can be you know, dealt with over time. Oh, my where God, we can, you're crazy. We can hang out. You want to be you want to be yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. We can, you know, hang out, talk a, a little. At, at some point, if, if things are going well, I'm sure that discussion will come up. No, well, the discussion's here now. Don't avoid it. <laughs> Do you or oh, do you no. not want kids, Anthony? You know, uh, people know me off the air as really loving children. Oh, my um, God, what is up? I, uh, I have a, very, a soft spot uh, for kids. Um, yeah, I, 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 I love kids. The, the more, the merrier, I say. She's going to ruin them. Oh, yeah. You are done. <laughs> done, my friend. More than a marrier, so f five is okay with you. Five is uh, good if the, if that's a, if that's enough for you. I mean, five is fine. Uh, but you said you, you have said in the should I talk here? I don't I don't what? want to blow up your spot, but you what? have said that kids ruin a girl's body. No, uh, girls are, if <laughs> if girls are in shape, they snap right back. <laughs> is what it is, and yeah, Jill's in very good shape. That's that, and then also we could if there was a problem with that, we could always have. A surrogate mother. So, you know, it could be my egg, your sperm, and someone else could carry it, and then my body would still remain perfect. You know, if you're up for that, and they can take it with them and uh, take care of it and raise it. No, <laughs> I wouldn't I mind that either. Thank too much. you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, and I also heard some of uh, William Shatner's comments, and uh, mm -hmm. when we do go out, are you really going to record me, or? No. I would never uh, do that, Vade our little right. private moment. You promise? Yeah, I, I really swear I would never do something like that. That would be Amy. awful intrusion. You know what? Uh, make believe we're not here and just like set it up for the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, this doesn't count as your phone call. Just to let you know, this is a group phone call. Yeah, so I'm expecting a private phone call later, but we can pretend. So. No, abs. I will absolutely call you, and we will set something up for for next week, during the Aww. week. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah, I think she wants us. Uh, Why not the weekend? Uh, Why not a Saturday, maybe, or something? Because it's brunch. short notice, and I don't want to put her in an awkward position where she already has plans. Uh, I do. I have some family obligations. On See, Saturday. I know things like this. So yeah. we'll talk, and we'll we'll start out maybe with something, uh, an early dinner during the week, because I know we're both uh, morning people with work. Yeah, that that kind of works, you know, to our advantage. We both have the same hours. Yeah. Kind of nice to find someone who wants to go to sleep early, you know, and... Well, wrong early. guy. <laughs> yeah, no. What time, what time do you go to bed usually? Uh, anywhere between 10 and 2 in the morning. <laughs> Perfect. That's exactly what I do. <laughs> See, it all, it all depends on, you know, what's going on, so... Yeah, you know. Aww. Yeah. Maybe if we're out having a good time, it'll be one of those later nights, uh... And, uh, you know, if we're, we know we're going to have a busy day the next day, we could cut it short a little early and, uh... You know, do it again. Well, good. I, I can't wait. And, uh, yeah, I can't either. I think it'll be a lot of fun, Jill. Me too. Is there anything else that you'd like me to signal to you? I mean, I did an ear pull. I, I think your improv is fantastic, and I uh, I, I wouldn't want to taint that. <laughs> but in all fairness, we got a lot of listeners now. They want to see the secret message. So <laughs> maybe you could give us what the secret message is going to be for the next traffic report. Oh, well, you have some already, right? I believe that we sent them over to you, so they should yeah. be on. Your no, but you got to, like, announce it on the air, because I'm telling you, everyone's going to turn off our show to watch your next traffic. <laughs> oh, is it going to be an, another you're gonna, one? You're going to see a rating spike, but you got to tell us what the message is ahead of time. Then they're going to see it and go, oh, my God, this is real. I will keep texting CC, and I'll give him all the details, and I'll think of something, whether it's a touch, a pull, a tug, or a hello. Maybe I could just do a general hello to Anthony, who lives out in Long Island. What well, about that? That would be nice. I don't want to speak for Anthony, but I think he's home for a tug and a pull. <laughs> hey, don't be <laughs> shut up. You are just, you are the destroyer. God, he, are, you, are you getting a little shy? Well, I work with very immature people. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah. it's very difficult. Uh, uh, to, uh, to, it's time. It's time for me to go. We have the top of the show. He's and calling us in the He plays video games with twelve-year-olds all night long. Okay. Would you let Jill go? She's oh. she's working. When's the next okay. traffic? Uh, well, quickly now, but then about uh, six. Mm, uh, what is it? I guess seven oh nine ish. All right. Our all right. seven oh nine ish. There will be a secret message, to Anthony. But you got to uh, text Steve beforehand so we can tell everybody what that uh, message is going to be. Go. Bye, Jill. Right, bye. Bye. There bye, 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 bye. There she Say goodbye to your girlfriend. <laughs> she's working.
<laughs> now she's gonna pop on real quick. Want to say? Yeah. <laughs> Want to say goodbye to Yoko Ono? <laughs> hey, shut up. Oh, Anthony, crushes her asses. That uh, was good while it lasted. <laughs> he's gonna be all happy and fun. She likes Obama. He'll like. You know what? I think he's alright. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. You're a bit smitten there, my friend. I'm, I'm just talking. You know Why what? can't we talk? I'll step out of character. You know, come on. What? She's beautiful. Well, she's a very attractive girl. Yes. Who's not who's going to you know deny that? Huh? No one's going to deny that. That kid thing was interesting, huh? Look. She's not on the phone anything. anymore. So probably what do you really think of kids? Wait, wait. I know if she's on the air, she's not listening. What do you really think of kids? Oof. Is she on the air? Oh, no, she isn't in front of the camera. No. I don't Linda Church would snitch. Uh, you know, uh, you have to, you have to, you know, say, yeah, yeah, I like that. What? Dude, she listen. She has people listening for her. <laughs> yeah. They're going to blow it. <laughs> yeah, what are you? Now I got to help you out. Are you dumb? Oh, kids all, are great. All that stuff she said, she, she didn't hear the show. She got reports. Yeah. About the taping of the date and everything. Well, the rats? There's a lot of rats out there. Mm. A I'm lot. so naive. Uh, let me say, uh, hi to Tommy in New York. Tommy! Tommy! Hey, what's up there, Ro? I feel like I just watched the World Trade Center crash for the second time. Yeah, the whole show is going to be destroyed within an hour. I'm going to go hang a red ribbon around my tree now for Anthony. Yeah, uh, way to pick a fun reference. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> know, way to really. keep it light. <laughs> <laughs> Having a light, silly time. <laughs> uh, it's like a tsunami happening. All right. It's <laughs> a <laughs> train wreck. All right, thank you, yeah. sir. After right, the break... After the break, thank mm -hmm. you, Tim. Uh, everyone helping you out with your uh, with your potential. Oh, great, because that's what with I want, your, your guys' help. With your potential uh, romance with Jill Nicolini. We got Anthony compares having a kid like being attacked by bean pod people. <laughs> and Did I say that? Must have been in my youth. And we got the Bill Shatner dating advice for you mm -hmm. as you uh, go, out, go on this date with Jill Nicolini. Why not tonight or tomorrow? She's got family things going on this weekend. She said you were busy, too. Bad mistake. Yeah. You, I, well, you blew yeah. it up. Here it is. By saying, look, I, I'm not going to call this weekend but because I'm sure she has something to do. That's implying that I had something to do and wasn't being rude. No, that, here's what that is. That, it comes off, and I understand. It doesn't come off like it comes, that. It comes off like, nah, she's busy, aren't you? No, no. It comes off as, look, I'll call you next week because... I have stuff to do this weekend, All right. and and I say you have stuff. I'm sure with such short notice that you have plans, which means I'm sure with such short notice I have plans. I don't, but are you hoping? <laughs> 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 but it comes off that way. Are you hoping to squeeze her boobies? Would you stop? <laughs> There's no reason for this. There's no reason for this. What? Wow. For you to say stuff like that. Oh. Donna wants to know. You uh, know how people screw things up, too. Like her reports will get back to her and go, Anthony said, and meanwhile, it's something Opie said. What? They always get everybody wrong. Are we re reliving high school today? Uh, Bob, yes. Kentucky, what's up? Hey, guys. Long time, first time. Yes. Quack, quack. You know what I kind of feel like? I kind of feel like we're all dating Jill Nicolini. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's involved now. Right? Uh, it's, like this, it's just like the sweetest thing until the knucklehead screws it up. But it's a lot of fun. Knucklehead. All right, thank you, sir. Uh, <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> yeah. All right, we got to take a quick break, and uh, we're pretty much blown off our show today. <laughs> <laughs> to focus on this uh, this uh, this this thing that's happening with Anthony and Jill Nicolini. All right, Opie and Anthony, stay there. This one goes out to Anthony. <laughs> oh, does it? I really didn't pick up on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, yeah, this is one of the normal ones. I didn't guess it. <laughs> Man, yes, sir, you're Everyone checking out the Opie and Anthony show. Ass. Hey, uh, the next uh, secret message Jill's going to be doing for you, Ant, yeah. is, uh, is the goose step. So, uh, <laughs> Oh, cool. So we're going to be watching for that. <laughs> A Sig Heil salute. <laughs> she just did an okay, terrific, although she kind of messed it up, but that was for you. She just did it about two minutes ago during her traffic. Way, yeah. There are people saying that uh, Channel 11 is syndicated, so they're watching the traffic all over the country now. Oh, really? For the secret messages uh, to you, my friend. <laughs> uh, Bird in Philly, Anthony plus Nicolini equals... Antolini. 
You know what that is, right? Think, what? think, think. Well, Andalini was from The Godfather. Oh, yeah. Antolini. Okay, well, that's what they were getting yeah. to. The, the real name of the Corleone family. This is meant to be, Bert and Philly are saying. And uh, Spike in New Hampshire, how long before sitting in the car in the driveway? How long before Anthony sitting in the car in the driveway looking at the lit candles through the window? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had a very funny line on Pal Talk. Uh, yeah. Uh, Did they? They said, uh, they said, Anthony, just don't cry in front of her, <laughs> which is really funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was uh, actually Josh from Atlanta on the phone oh, that yeah. we were going to go to. Yeah, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jimmy, you uh, <laughs> jump in the oh, gun. I'm sorry. They Jimmy I stole your line, Josh. I apologize, dude. I didn't realize that. Josh, what's oh, up? Hey, hey, no, that's, that's fine, Jimmy. You just, you just go ahead and talk. I'll, I'll sit here. Oh. <laughs> I'll accept that. Uh, no, I'm sorry, dude. Cause they, they, we all laughed about it in the break, but I didn't realize it was up on the phone screener thing. Yeah. I'm sorry, Josh. All right. No, that, that, that's okay, Jimmy. I love you. What were you uh, going to say? Really just say it. Just, I don't want to steal it. Just say it. Uh, what I was going to say, Anthony, is when you take her out, uh, if it's raining and you happen to get a flat tire, please don't sit in the car crying. <laughs> Cry at a flat tire? I know. <laughs> so you meant something like, uh, you know, sitting watching the movie Ghost. Sure. You can't start weeping openly. Would that turn a girl off on the first date if, like, you were going to the restaurant, but you pulled off, like, into, like, a like a residential area and you park somewhere dark and you turn the car off and she's like, what are you doing? If you had both hands on the wheel and you just looked at her with tears on your face and went, so beautiful. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> oh, how creepy. Uh, <laughs> just bawling. Crying so hard you had like that white thing, that white piece of spit from top lip to lower lip with your mouth wide Just open. snot running down your nose and spit bubbles. Um... <laughs> Steve got a message from her that she was going to work in a OK Terrific during her traffic report, and this is how it went down. All right, checking with our trains. Everything is running on time. LIRR New Jersey Transit, Metro North. OK, that's terrific, isn't it? Alternate sides are in effect today citywide. Unfortunately, not so terrific is the weather, right, Linda? No, it's certainly... OK, terrific. <laughs> yeah, she was uh, attempting a OK Terrific for you. She's probably figuring, how do I get the words OK Terrific out, like, on a news show? Yeah, you know, yeah. Where it makes any kind of sense. She had to put the vets. That's yeah. Fine. That works. Sure. Uh, let's say hi to Mike in Babylon. Mike, what's up? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, man. Hey, uh, Opie, how long do you think it is before uh, Jill says something like those whiskers are a little rough and Anthony comes in completely clean-shaven? <laughs> well, he's already changing... Right in front of our eyes, because really? he, he had a different take on kids. He's been bitching and complaining about kids forever. Did I? And on the Wait. phone, uh, we're, we're getting that audio. On the phone with Jill, you had a different take on kids. I didn't really didn't realize that, that it was any more of a different take than uh, than I've had in the past. Well, I got two <laughs> examples of you talking about kids that were oh. going to compare to what you said about kids today. <laughs> you need evidence? All right, get that out of there, you jackass. What <laughs> you suck? That's you? All right, thank you, Mike. shaved. Yuck. Where is that? I don't know. That was a while ago. There's nothing wrong with you clean shaved. Not right. Iraq, right. you leave that up there one more second. I'm going to punch you in the face. Oh, that was a nice smile. Someone was yeah. happy that day. Shut it. Uh, <laughs> Bill Shatner called the show yesterday. Yeah. And he pretty much blew off talking about his, uh, his book to give you dating advice. Great. As uh, we all patiently wait for the big day. You going out with Jill Nicolini. This is what Bill Shatner had to say. <laughs> you got to excuse Anthony. He fell in love uh, today, and uh, he's a little distracted. So uh, he, Jesus. He fell in love today? Yeah. And when they uh, got up on the elevator, he saw the, <laughs> the one. Uh, and I came over with a direct quote, and I said, Anthony, Jill Nicolini wants you to know two things. She is A, available, and B, interested. And wow. uh, they, got, they got her on the horn, and we set up a little uh, love connection. No live. Live. She, she's hot. Yes. <laughs> exactly. You didn't think of me in that moment? What you, I don't know. What, what do you think, Bill? Uh, how do I handle something like that? I, I think you've handled it exactly right. <laughs> well, what does it say about Anthony when uh, getting a date with Jick, Jill Nicolini is the second best thing that happens to him on the show? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know. Nice. I, I have my priorities. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. I'll have to tune into Channel Eleven and take a look at what, uh, your next date. Yes, yeah, certainly. Where are you going to go? Certainly. Well, I think there's a nice place uh, around. Uh, what do you think of this, Bill? I, I uh, suggested a nice restaurant that's kind of near my house because we both live on Long Island. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, 
but Long Island is long. It's an island that's long. Yeah, but but uh, it's close enough. We're within proximity of each other there, so I really? suggest something near the house, that and then so good. they will go out, and then and then hey, how about you know I show you because uh, I'm having some work done on the house, having a pool put in the back, uh -huh. and. You know, well, no, I, I, and here's the side benefit of all that. You can go on a date, and the weather will be nice. See? Yeah. When should we go? Well, let's see. The sun will be out uh, on Thursday, so let's go and sit outside and dine al fresco. Yeah. <laughs> a little advice from Bill Shatner. Andy. Yes. Right. Now, um, we got what you said about kids today. Uh -huh. We got two examples, too. I mean, we <clears> could have pulled ten. Yeah. Uh, how about we, we start with what you have said about kids in the past? Uh, I don't think it's any Why not just play what I said just before? Because I don't, there's no real difference. Why not just read what he's been charged with? <laughs> <laughs> in the past, you said this about kids. I have nothing to say to kids. I don't know how to talk to them. What do you say? They come up and show you something. Uh, Uncle Anthony, look at the... Oh, neat. Get out of here. <laughs> I don't remember saying that. And that's sad because uh, your brother uh, became a father yesterday. Well, see, I said we oh, haven't told that's this, neat. We haven't told this side of the show, by the way. Uh, brother Joe is now yes, a father. He's a daddy. And uh, you're now an uncle. Yeah. I'm an uncle. For whatever that means, you know. It's a good thing. I don't feel any different. You also said this about uh, kids in the past. Here's what it is. I've got it. Okay. Having a baby seems to be like when you fell asleep next to the bean pod in Invasion of the Body Snatchers. When Before it happens, you're fighting a tooth and nail. You hate it. You look at the people that have changed and go, oh, my God, look at him. <laughs> He's pointing out everybody. What is he doing? I don't want to live this life of, of post bean pod. And, and you fight it tooth and nail, and and the bean pod people look evil and horrible and nasty, and it's a terrible way to go through life. There's there's no uh, you're you're lacking some of the things that you would have had uh, prior to the bean pods. Pre pod. Then you go to sleep next to the pod. You wake up and all of a sudden you're one of them. Everything's fine. You're not sad. You don't miss what you had because you're really you're in another phase of of your your life. Yeah. I don't want to fall asleep next to the bean pod ever. <laughs> I like pre bean pod. <laughs> so yeah, I I said that. <laughs> yeah, you make it uh, very obvious. And the part about before, like the kid the example you gave before, yeah. is the kid just comes up and goes, Uncle Anthony, look, and you went, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, Can you be showing I, you a little picture they uh, drew for you? Oh, yeah. those little, things. They always look so bad. Why do you got to tell kids, oh, that's so nice, when everyone knows they look like crap? They can't stay in the lines when they color. Shh. It's, a, it's adorable. You're going to ruin it. So. Jesus. Almost slipped up there. <laughs> uh, just moments ago, we had Jill Nicolini on the phone. Mm -hmm. And this is what you had to say about uh, kids today. Yeah. Do you or do oh, you no. not want kids, Anthony? You know. Uh, people know me off the air as really loving children. Oh, my um, God, what is up? I, uh, I have a, very, a soft spot uh, for kids. Um, yeah, I, 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 I love kids. The, the more, the merrier, I say. She's going to ruin them. Oh, yeah. You are done. <laughs> done, my friend. More than a year, so f five is okay with you. Five is uh, good if the, if that's a, if that's enough for you. I mean, five is fine. <laughs> Help me out here, Hendry. Wait till this makes the papers. Probably as soon as tomorrow. By the way. Oh no! Now, this whole thing is uh, oh, taking on a geez. life of its own, my friend. Let's say hi to uh, Mike in Jersey. Mike, what's up? Anthony. Yeah. I know, it's, I know it's Supercar Weekend, but could you please pick up a case of long, thin maxis with wings? <laughs> oh, that's great. Speaking of Supercar Weekend, have you broke the news to Keith yet, and how is he taking this? Uh, I, don't, I don't really know how he's taking it. Um, I haven't really broken the news to him yet. Uh, yeah. He's, uh, he's away. He's on a kind of vacation thing. All right, Kevin. Oh, so. Kevin, Virginia Beach. It's Kevin, going to be tough. He just get a tummy hey, what's tuck. what's up, guys? Yeah, competition. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kevin. Hey, boys, what's happening? Hey. hey. Uh, 
want to know if Anthony's going to park the car and give her the old, what are we going to do with this? <laughs> uh, Jay Moore's strategy. What are we going to do with this? When you just park the car, you uh, expose everything and just go, what are we going to do about this? <laughs> One of the greatest Jay Moore moments on our show ever. Uh, Marine Joe, New York, what's up? Hey, guys, what's going on? Hey. Hey, Anthony, in all seriousness, man, a couple days ago you were talking about sometimes you're wondering what the end game is and you don't know what, what uh, it's going to be at the end of the road. Well, I think you've got your answer now, buddy. <laughs> See, no, no reason to be depressed anymore, my friend. Why do you think I said that on the air? <laughs> Makes yeah, people go like, oh, <laughs> maybe he needs a little company. Let's go to Frank in New York. Frank. <laughs> Hey, okay, but I got a, I got a great signal that you can get to Anthony on the air. Okay. Basically, the, basically a tongue on the inside of her cheek with her hands going back and forth towards her face. <laughs> we kind of made that same joke in the office. We're like, it's going to get to the point where these uh, the secret messages are going to get obnoxious. Very good, Frank. Uh, let's say how to build the trucker, Bill. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, hey. Hey, Ann, I think uh, Joe McElhinney's a size queen because she heard about that luscious package. <laughs> Why? Why? Hey, we did Why you, does it have to go there? We did you a service by, uh, you know, telling everyone about what you've got going on. Well, thanks. Yeah, and i got to live up to it. That's right, you do. Yeah, she set up a mirror in the bed. Ah, oh, you go right ahead, sir. <laughs> I apologize. I didn't mean to try to participate. <laughs> we didn't know it was Bill the Trucker's radio uh, show that go, we go were right ahead, Bill. Sorry. participating in. Yeah, sorry, Bill. Yes, Bill. What? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, let's go to Jimmy in East Meadow. Jimmy! Hey, what's up, fellas? Hey. Hey, uh, Ant, maybe you can uh, take you to a uh, No Doubt concert. Need me. Wow, that, that, that wouldn't be a good thing. No. Uh, let's say hi to Clint in Utah. Clint. Answer me. Your biological clock is obviously ticking, man. With Brother <laughs> Joe having a kid. <laughs> oh, you think that's it with my brother having one? My sister is having one? Yep. And, uh, oh, and East Side Dave, if Anthony's next, the clock's ticking, Anthony. You're mm, done, man. Clock's ticking, all right. Mm. <laughs> well, uh, mm. are we sending this next song out to Keith the Cop? <laughs> Keith, pack your stuff. Get you're, the hell out. You're leaving the Kumia compound. Like, obviously, you know, there's nothing going on with you and Keith, but it, it's going to look a little creepy when you give her the tour of the, the house and go, oh, well, this is where Keith stays. Keith's room. She's going to ask too many questions. Get him out now. He demanded on the sound system. Yeah. Because I have a sound system where you have this remote and you're able to turn on music in each individual room in the house. It could be a different song playing in every room. Or the same song playing in the whole house. It's just the volumes up and down in individual rooms or the whole package, link rooms together. But he wanted his on this remote control labeled Keith's Suite. <laughs> and he told the, the people that installed it to do that, and they did it. <laughs> so now one of the bedrooms actually is labeled as Keith's Suite on it. And uh, I think that's going to have to be changed. When Jill gets the tour of the house, she'll probably look at all the pillows and wonder whether they have like teeth marks in them. <laughs> <laughs> no teeth marks in the pillows. When is uh, when is the mansion going to be called Jill's house? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till she owns it. Oh, I can't ah, shut wait. up! He's going to be ruined. Get out of here. This ends with Anthony in a tiny, tiny little apartment in Brentwood. Knocking tin. Yeah, just back at Apollo air conditioning yeah. in Brentwood. Yeah. Ah, uh, <laughs> very nice. Uh... Uh, well, you're getting some uh, some good uh, feedback here from Jack in Long Beach. Jack, what's up? Hey, what's going on, fellas? Hey, uh, hey. I, I just wanted to say I don't think it's very fair how Anthony's being depleted right now. All right. You yes. guys are making him out to be a real a real female. He's a man's man. I mean, cars and guns. He can handle a hot chick. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Finally, a reasonable man on the phone. That's the the only thing that's missing. You got the guns, the the fast cars. Now you just need the hot chick. Yeah. You guys got me. Uh, you got me weeping openly. <laughs> you got me getting my uh, my house taken away from me. Uh, well, you know. Thank you, Jack. Awful me from Whackbag uh, writes, I think her last signal was for Ant to steal third. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Ah, uh, wow. Uh, Jeff, Atlanta. This is all they want to talk about is you and Jill Nicolini. Uh, Jeff, what's, what's up? up? Hey. What's up, fellas? Hey, man. Hey. Anthony, you need to ask her mom if she can make left-hand turns. 
<laughs> that should be a prerequisite. It really should. The mothers have to be able to make left-hand turns. I can't wait till Jill's family comes in from out of town and they want to stay at Anthony's place. Oh, it's gonna be. This is gonna be fantastic. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at Jimmy's yeah, just sure. basking in this. Yeah, you know. I'm happy for you. Yeah. Or maybe I'll have to fly halfway across the country to see her family. Oh, that's right. That was you. All right. All the way across the country. Yeah. Oh, it was all the way. All the way. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Damn, I screwed that up. That's all right. I tried to jab him and I get nothing. That's all right. It was actually true. I did fly cross country. You did? Family. Yeah. Yeah, well. How was that? Better than having him over. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We got to take another break. We're going to... We're gonna uh, we're gonna keep this on the back burner. Oh, are we? Oh yeah. We I are. thought it would just go away. No, we There's just need seven phone lines lit for this. I know. We uh, need people we just... can't stop commenting. We just need a little time to get more audio on the air. <sighs> the audio cut up, and you know, good. Waiting Great. for the the next uh, secret message from Jill to you. Uh, does Steve know what the next one's gonna be yet? <sighs> no. All right. Uh, Kevin the trucker. We can't screen the calls fast enough. Kevin, what's up? Hey, buddies. I just wanted to ask Anthony, how many years is it going to be before uh, he's sitting there on the air screaming because she's taking 28% of his paycheck for those five kids she wants? <laughs> <sighs> Mike in Tennessee. Mike? Yeah, uh, I just wanted to ask Anthony, ain't she just a little too old for you? <laughs> And comment? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> Why would you even say something like that? Uh, let's see. Ant, do you need to play poker this weekend? I was thinking of going antiquing. That's <laughs> from Comic Genius on Tell Talk. I don't really go antiquing, and Jill doesn't seem like the type of girl. No, nah, she's a partier. Goes antiquing. Uh, Todd in Pennsylvania. Todd? Yeah, I was just wondering how Anthony's going to cross that emotional hurdle of unleashing his magnificent hog. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I, I, Todd, that's really I'm beside fun. myself that here. I just really can't. Fun. How will you be presenting the, the goodness? Shut up! <laughs> There's no presentation. Uh, you, you, got, you can't just flop it. you got to... There's got to be a, there's gotta be a presentation of, Could the, you of the goodness. Could you stop? Could you stop? I bet I know how Anthony, when he first shows anyone, <laughs> yes, he probably just unbuckles the belt, like he undoes it, and then he just kind of lets his pants shimmy naturally down. <laughs> <Could you stop? laughs> the damn thing takes on a life of its own. It's just, just the way it presents itself there, and he just probably oh. like looks down, like there's nothing needs to be said here. I mean, <laughs> God. Uh, am I going to have to take her to the premiere of Sex in the City? You know what's gonna, you know what's gonna suck if this becomes a real relationship, man. We're gonna have a lot of apologizing to do. You are. I mean, I'm polite. Don't <laughs> <laughs> <Most> we. <laughs> Charlie, Philly, what's up? Uh, bu -bu -boy. Hey. Hey, Anthony, you're gonna be just like Rich Voss, fifty years old having kids. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm not. Yes. Let's go to Danny. Danny, what's up? Hey, how you doing, man? I just wanted to know if uh, you took care of business last night thinking about Jill Nicolini. <laughs> hey, that's a good question. All right. I don't think this uh, conversation is... Uh, I don't think we have to uh, no? get into things like this when there hasn't even been a one-on-one -on -one phone call yet. I mean, man, I really. Gotta, I got to tell you, me and my friends had this thing when we were kids. If you uh, took care of business with that particular one woman you were thinking about, it would never work out. I disagree. I think you're, it's just the opposite. Mm. I really do. You think so? Yeah, Go man. The, look, pal. If if you don't have any kind of a yeah, if you, if falling in love with a beautiful girl is easy, but if you fall in lust and love, that's 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 good. It's healthy. Oh, I could see Anne holding her purse as she shops for onesies for the baby. <laughs> <laughs> What's a onesie? You don't know what a onesie is? No. It's kind of like a it's a onesie. It's a it's it's. it's oh, it's just that one thing that babies clothes. wear. Yeah. Stupid baby clothes. Uh, How did we ever get out of wearing those? <laughs> I'd like to wear one of those one day. No kidding. Come in in a onesie. <laughs> a onesie. I thought that's how much sleep Iraq got last night. Oh, oh. Let's have onesie day. <laughs> we all come in and wearing onesies. a onesie. Uh, I have Anthony presenting music when he presents the goodness. All right, let's see what, if Iraq's awake. <laughs> <laughs> it's fanfare for the common yeah. man. There's a waist high spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> you got to stop it. Oh my god. <laughs> so 
goddamn embarrassing to be with you people. <laughs> there it was. Is that the moment? Yes, it was. My oh, friend. great. That's the sound it makes when it hits the floor. Yeah. <laughs> now I just got to roll it back up. <laughs> Lighting changes. Sure. <laughs> great. Keith in the background crying. Lasers. <laughs> A little fan blowing. Yeah. Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I gotta say this. No, I, you don't. I thought it was a bit <laughs> yeah. until uh, we we took uh, the Jill phone call today. Really? And I was hoping that we would get the uh, asking out on the date thing on our show. No, I, that's and she's not... like, no, that will happen in private that's when Anthony be. calls me. That, what am I going to do? Make plans and tell uh, where we're going so all the fans can show up? They wouldn't. No, but oh, of course they wouldn't. Or, or, or have Opie talk us into going to F.H. Riley's? <laughs> what, in the heart of Huntington Village? <laughs> 400 New York Avenue, my brother's fine restaurant? Working on uh, the new menu? Yeah. And the French doors? And the French doors, <laughs> of course. Go there this weekend and drink, please. We almost got the French doors paid for. Ah, uh, <laughs> pleasure to meet you, Jill. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, someone is suggesting <laughs> you, 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 you present the goodness with uh, ecstasy of gold playing. Oh, well, I feel like I have to go to work. <laughs> so uh, now Anthony's saying today that he likes kids, but uh, we got this thing, uh, this uh, Anthony Daycare Center thing that oh, no. uh, we did a while ago. We go to break oh, with geez. this. You love your kids, but sometimes they can be a handful. Kids are great when they're other people's. Who can you trust when it comes to your youngins? You change them, you wash them, you bathe them. Anthony's Daycare Oasis is a paradise. You're in prison. You're in baby goddamn prison. Filled with joy. We don't think they're cute. Tenderness. We think they're annoying. And most of all, Anthony's love. I could only hope your child turns up like little Adam Walsh without his head. Parents adore our staff. These guys hate kids. And our facilities are safe. I have burning cauldrons of wax <laughs> just sitting around for aesthetic. Just listen to these happy children frolic through Anthony's daycare oasis. I hate your kid, and I wish him dead. Just take it from Anthony himself. Grab your little friggin' rat and say, We love you, Anthony. Uh, uh, we might have just blown it. Whoa! We just might have just blown it for you. That might have been a little inappropriate. Well, oh. eh, what are you gonna do? Let me let me try to say this. This is what you said about kids today as we go to break. Do you or do you oh, no. not want kids, Anthony? You know, uh, people know me off the air as really loving children. Oh my um, God! What is up? I uh, I have a very a uh, soft spot uh, for kids. Um, yeah, I I, I I love kids. The the more the merrier. I say. She's gonna ruin them. Oh yeah. You are done. <laughs> done, my friend. More than a so f five is okay with you. Five is a uh, good if if that's a, if that's enough for you. I mean, five is fine. <laughs> Anthony, we want to play a song for uh, for Jill Nicolini. So uh, you're obligated to pick a song to play for Jill Nicolini today. I'm obligated. Yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. think it over. Oh, Jesus. Decide what song you want to uh, send out to Jill Nicolini, mm -hmm. the Traffic Girl at Channel. Mm -hmm. A nice song. Yeah, something nice. With good words. <sighs> and then... <laughs> Listen to the words. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mixtape. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'll do, make a mixtape. <laughs> I want to thank Jill Nicolini for completely stopping our radio show today because she just did another secret message, and we got it. This Ooh. was for you today, Ann. Tractor trailer, also a debris spill, lots of delays here, taking out the left lane. Traffic is definitely going to linger longer. Let's check into the LIE at the Midtown Center. Ah, that's a good one. That's damn good. <laughs> linger longer. Uh, Traffic is going to linger longer. That would be better if you did it in the voice, but that's good enough. <laughs> that's What's going on? <laughs> that's a good gonna one. Linger longer. Oh, my God. That's too good. All right. Should we move on to other things for a little while? No. Let's, let's say hi to Robert in Dallas. Robert. Hey, Ann. I'm really sorry that these guys are giving you such a hard time. I think you guys should just go out and have a really nice date. Um, that being said, 
I was curious if there's any truth to the rumor that she's practicing for the date by trying to pass a tuna can on its side through her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Is that necessary? It's just a question. Yeah. What's wrong? Well, is no, no. Okay. You knew it was gonna be bad when he went. That being that being said, right? Nothing good coming out. No. Of that. Uh, Mark in Florida. Mark. What's up, guys? Hey. Hey, I, I want to get on the list to buy Aunt's gun collection when she makes him baby proof the house. <laughs> baby proof. Oh house. yeah. What's gonna happen with the guns, Aunt? Uh, well, I guess they'll have to end up in a safe. Yeah. Um. Locked up all the time. Because you're a responsible gun owner, aren't and you? And I don't think I, I'd be able to wear one around the house. He'll hang him over the crib like a mobile. <laughs> a mobile? Is that wrong? A mobile. I knew it was mobile. <laughs> <laughs> me. A mobile? Like a big gas station, you idiot. <laughs> I knew it was Hang it up there like a Texaco. <laughs> I, I knew I did that wrong. Right. And, yeah, and Anthony sweet. already has kids running around his house, and uh, that house is not baby-proofed. Oh, I don't have kids running around that house. Uh, oh, you uh, oh uh, now. Uh, I think that's exaggerated uh, humor. Uh, John Hicksville, what's up? Hey, Ant. How long before you smash a plate of spaghetti against the wall? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be your turn to smash the spaghetti on the wall. <laughs> Mike Syracuse. Hey, Ant. How long before you trade your Shelby in for something with stone go seating? <laughs> stone go seating. <laughs> I will not trade in my Shelby. <laughs> No. Uh, let's go to Ricky in Jersey. Ricky. Hey, boys. How you doing? Good, man. Hey, Oak. Are you going to... How long before you do a baby diaper mustache and Anthony's baby diaper? Wow, that would be a little twisted, but <laughs> no, I, I, it would be an honor, Anthony. No. To do a baby diaper mustache for, for you. No. It would be an honor, my friend. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Uh, let's say how to Matt in Canada. Matt. What's up, guys? Hey. Hey, uh, Anthony, in honor of your big uh, triumph yesterday, I whacked off to Jill Nicolini pictures all day long. You 